Hey there, it's The Roger Show, and I wanted to talk today about what you can do if you ever get diagnosed with cancer. You ever get a diagnosis of cancer from your doctor, they're going to give you X amount of days, weeks, months, years to live based on your current symptomology of cancer. So I want to make some clear points here between the causes of cancer and the symptoms of cancer. So the symptoms of cancer, obviously, we, as we know, as cancerous tumors throughout your body, wherever they may be, which will give you, the, obviously, that specific kind of cancer. And I want to talk to you about, obviously, with modern medical allopathic medicine, their standard treatment is chemotherapy. And that is dealing with the, cause, the, the symptoms of cancer, which is what we also know as systemic acidosis from Dr. Robert Norse. But the, the symptoms of cancer is obviously the cancerous tumor. And the chemotherapy will, do, will definitely wipe out those cancerous tumors, but it will do a lot of damage to the rest of your cells in your body and your immune system. And it'll take a while to recover. So I want to talk to you about why, yes, you can do your chemotherapy. and But I'm going to talk about how chemotherapy works. Obviously, it gets rid of the cancers. But then sometimes with some people, it works. And with other, other people, the cancers come back. So I'm going to talk to you about the causes of cancer. And when you, once you understand the causes of cancer, you can make the specific shifts in your diet, your thinking, your emotions, your relationships, your work and home environment to, from being negative causes to positive diet, thinking, emotions, relationship, work, and home environment. And from there, when you've got these positive causes happening, the symptomology will be health. But if you have chemotherapy and you don't change your diet, thinking, emotions, relationships, work, and home environment, and it still is predominantly negative <clears throat> and self-defeating, your cancer is going to come back. It's as simple as that. There is always is a cause and effect. There is a cause and there is a symptom. There's a cause and an effect. There's always a consequence for our decision or for, for something. So the, cancer is, the cancerous tumor is a symptomology of negativity within this. And what happens is when people get chemotherapy, sometimes they do make changes to their diet, they make changes to their thinking, they make changes to their emotions and their relationships shift and change. And there are a lot of changes. It's almost cathartic how it happens naturally. And they all, you know, whilst they're going through chemotherapy and that, you know, that near-death experience, they make the positive changes here. But for other patients, they go through the chemotherapy. Yes, it zaps away the cancerous tumors, takes their hair away. But they don't make these changes here, and they, they go back to the same same diet, same thing, same emotion, same relationship, same work and home environment. And it's the same cause, and it's going to, what, you know, what's going to happen? It's the same cause, it's going to create the same effect. Same cause is going to create the same symptoms of cancerous tumors, and the tumors are going to come back. Allopathic medicine is really ignorant of this kind of stuff. Uh, they're you know, very, very intelligent people, but they're, they're really stuck within their box and that framework of their understanding of allopathic medicine, and they struggle uh, to see beyond it. Though more and more nowadays, doctors are beginning to see beyond it. So I'm just going to quickly go into it. The causes of cancer, the causes that will contribute to cancer is poor diet, you know, high starch, high acid, acidic food, uh, red meat, too much red meat. I'm not talking about in, in you know in balance, but too much red meat. No fruits, no vegetables, um, and you know a lot of sugars, uh, a lot of caffeine. It's all not good for you. It's all a diet which is going to contribute to cancer. Yes, you can have sugar. Yes, you can have caffeine. Yes, you can have red meat. Yes, you can have white meat. Yes, you can have uh, starches and all that kind of stuff. But yes, have it in a balanced diet with a lot of fruit and vegetables. You know, 80 to 90 percent fruit and vegetables. And then 10% the other good stuff, 10 to 20% the other you know stuff that you really enjoy. That you got to have a balance. You're thinking if you're negative thinking, you've got some negative thinking about yourself, about life in general. It, it what that does is shuts down your HPA axis. And I talked about that quite a lot. You can go back to my other videos to learn about that. And negative thinking is about life and yourself and other people. Is it's just it contributes to your emotions and the the breaking down of your body. It's not good for you. Negative emotions, anger, fear. Worry, doubt, resentment, judging, unforgiveness, sadness, lust, anger, anxiety, competition, hostility, guilt, shame, and depression. I've got them written on the wall. They're not good. They activate your HPA axis, your hypothalamus, pituitary, adrenal axis. They make you sick. Not good. Relationships. If your relationships are negative, you know, you're in a negative relationship where you're arguing a lot, you're fighting a lot, there's a lot of negativity, or you're divorced or broken up and you still got a lot of anger and negativity towards your spouse, that's going to create negative emotions, negative thinking, which is going to negatively impact your body. And if your work and home environment is negative, obviously your home environment where you live is not a positive, healthy place to live, uh, then you might want to consider, and your work, you might want to consider moving to a more positive and you know, quitting that job, finding a better job which suits your needs, less stress, 
and a home environment which is, you know, obviously more peaceful, uh, more full of light, more happy, more relaxed. That's that's what, how you want to be. Okay, and so once you make those sh shifts to positive causes, where you have a really great diet, 80-90% veggies as mentioned, and uh, fruit and veggies, your positive thinking, you kind of see the best in you know in situations, you force yourself to focus on the positive, even though you know it may not be your natural instinct, but focus on the positive. And your emotions, you want to you dwell more in the land of happiness, you focus more on happiness, on peace, forgiveness, joy, inspiration, oneness, consciousness, love, trust, empowerment, knowingness, all those kind of really cool groovy emotions. You notice as I say them, they've got such a light feel as compared compared to the negative emotions. Um, and your relationships, you know, obviously you start communicating more, you know, have that time to communicate, understand each other, bring the love back and the peace back into the relationships are really going to help you recover. Positive, of course, and your work and home environment. Get those happening positively. Bam, you're going to get well. You, you can either get, yes, get your chemotherapy if that's what the doctors advise. Many whole people in the holistic field, they go see holistic practitioners. They go on a massive fast for 40 days and only have grapes and lemon juice or whatever it is, pure fruit juices. They massively overhaul their thinking, their emotions. They, they work on their baggage. They dig deep. They look at the look at these the relationships and work and home environment, and they massively change those. So people in the holistic field all over the world, uh, ma you know, change these, and they don't even get the chemotherapy. And yes, they get well. And there are people who get the chemotherapy and they do all this as well. And yes, they get well. So this is what you want to do. Don't panic. Know what's causing it. It's not a boogeyman. It's not a monster. Cancer is just systemic acidosis. Change change your life, and you will heal. This is The Roger Show. Thanks for tuning in. Have an awesome day.